segmental vitiligo is a different probably pathophysiology than non-segmental. That's the one we see mostly non-segmental. You'll see bilateral eye involvement. It's on both hands, it's in the groin on both sides. Segmental is one area of the body, ruxolitinib cream. If we go to the next slide, um, looking at vehicle compared uh, arm versus active twice daily. And this is a 75% improvement in the vitiligo assessment, um, which is on the face, right? So in a pretty short period of time, you're seeing a good number of people splitting away from placebo, you know, 20 to 30% by week 24 are getting 75% improvements, which are cosmetically impressive improvements. And if you keep going on, you really can bring that number up pretty well. But again, when we're using this cream, we're not treating psoriasis, we're not treating eczema that can move in week over week right out of the gate. This requires some patience because once you shut the disease process off, you have to let the pigment start to grow and spread and become visible. The uh, adverse effects, very similar to what I showed you with eczema. There's no new treatment, emergent adverse um, effects relating to its use in vitiligo versus eczema. The difference I would mention in the label is that vitiligo um, is treated up to 10% of the total body surface area. So the faces where you get a lot of action, eyelids, do it. You know, you also have groin but it's 10% for vitiligo, 20% for eczema.